it's a lovely day I'm technically on vacation we got a, a long weekend here but it's a long weekend that starts my vacation and uh, I had a few chores I was going to do and then I, I was just kind of thinking well since I'm on vacation I'll just do whatever I feel like today so this is what I feel like doing is that's right I'm here. just gonna connect these wires on this thing to that battery and uh, this fuel pump on this car works but it has to run a while I think they tell me the diaphragm gets old in these things and after a while it you know you have to crank it a while before it get gas to let the gas leak back down to the tank and uh, I think putting this between the tank and the pump will hopefully keep fuel up here now I'm going to attach the black wire to the ground just because that's generally what I expect to, to work let's we'll see it's running it's making a noise I don't know if you can see that or not seems to be working so I'm gonna call that good I did want to test that and I'm gonna leave that sitting right out here in fact I'll go bring the rest of that stuff that goes with this out here with it I'll leave it all sitting right out here because I want to install that on this thing probably if you look down here you'll see fuel line Probably a good place to put it would be if I could disconnect right in here and attach it right between there and that. That would work just fine. Something like that. Better for it to be attached down low instead of higher than the tank. Just saying. So now that I've convinced myself that this is the one that's supposed to be the 6 volt, that means this will be the 12 volt. This is the one I want to mount on the boat. Oh look, it's got a brown and a black wire too. No instructions on it either. Well, there you go. Must be a fuel pump thing to not use red and black wires.